everyone. Once again, it is I, Kat, here to discuss um, our grab and go kit for July um, for grades seven through 12. So this month we're going to be making um, this little rock like photo holder thing. So um, you wrap a wire around a rock basically, and then you make these little circles up here and you can like stick a photo in there or you know, a little tiny painting or something, whatever you wanna put. Um, so in your kit, you will have obviously a rock. Um, you'll have this piece of wire um, you'll have a little container of paint and a foam brush and then also um, some popsicle sticks. So if you have any pliers, you might want to use those because that can be useful when working with wire. But this wire is pretty thin and flexible, so I don't think you'll have an issue. Um, but you can kind of use this to like protect um, your fingers from the end of the wire, which might be a little bit sharp. So if you're working with the end of the wire, you know, just push on it with the popsicle stick. Um, Okay, so the first thing you want to do is paint your rock if you so choose. Um, so here I've just kind of painted mine white. So the paint you have is white. You can always like add stickers or, you know, color on top of it or use other paint. Or you can just leave it plain rock if you want. Um, okay, so you've got your rock. And then you take one end of your wire and you start wrapping it around your rock. So, um, you know... Once again, this is gonna be kind of an interesting thing to try to show you up close. But basically, I've wrapped it around once and then I'm gonna like crisscross it. Um, this is kind of as if you're wrapping like a gift and you know when people do like that ribbon in the um, sort of the X shape across the, the box, it's like that. So you can see here on my like not so well painted side of my rock, um, I've crossed the wire and then here I'm bringing both sides up on the top. Um, and so I'm just gonna start like this will be obviously the long end is the one I'm going to use to make the part that holds the photo. So I've got that sticking up and then I'm just going to wrap the end of this wire, you know, around several times like, um, and you can do this, you know, in a decorative way or you can just kind of do it in a functional way and then hide the end of the wire underneath the rock. Like anyway, so if I wanted mine to be really beautiful, I would continue wrapping it like up here, but I won't make you watch me do that because that'll take a long time. Okay, so um, so now you just have to make the part that's gonna hold the photo. So you kind of choose a length. Obviously, um, if you have a heavy photo, you probably want a shorter um, length of the wire because like obviously a really tall wire is gonna like bend over. Um, so let's say that around here is where I want to start making my circles. So I just used my thumb. I just wrapped it around my thumb a few times. Um, you wanna have, you know, at least two, but maybe like four um, circles and so I've got my four circles here and then I'm gonna take this end of my wire and once again just kind of wrap the end around um, to kind of get it out of the way and you can continue doing that um, but yeah so also if you have pliers and you just want to cut this wire you totally can like if you have wire cutters or something like that um, but yeah so now you have these four loops of wire at the top and you just have to kind of arrange them in such a way that they're kind of tied up against each other. And then you can put a picture there. So I don't have, I don't have a photo here at work, um, but I do have this piece of paper. So, you know, I'm gonna put it in and just kind of make sure that, um, that I arrange my, you know, circles in such a way that, that it'll hold on to the paper. So anyway, so that's basically it. And I will say, you know, this is sort of a trial and error thing, right? Like, um, you have to kind of work on straightening out your wire sometimes. So the popsicle sticks can be really useful. You can put them like on either side of the wire and kind of, and work to straighten it that way. Um, and you know, you may just have to try a few times to kind of wrap it in a different way so that it'll be more structurally sound or more beautiful or, uh, you know, whatever you want. But eventually you will end up with a nice like little photo frame. So I hope you enjoyed this craft and I hope you're having a great summer um, and we'll see you next time.